Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. And uh, today we're going to go through all the different programs that I found, all the good art programs that I found for the Surface Pro X. And uh, I wanted to do something really cool with the artwork and uh, transition some art from uh, one program to the other and go through some of the cool features of each of those programs. And I thought, well, there's about 12 programs here and it would take forever. <laughs> so I'm just going to open up, do a couple quick drawing line tests in each one, and maybe mention a feature or two. Uh, but we're going to go through a semi-exhaustive list of the different programs that are available for the Surface Pro X. Uh, I will be later on going into uh, all the problems that I found with the Surface Pro X in a follow-up video, so please subscribe. And if you use art on any type of digital tablet, Windows 10, or your note taker, this is a great channel for you. All right, number one is Clip Studio Paint. This is Clip Studio Paint version 1.9.5, and it has a completely updated UI. Uh, we have Tablet Pro here on the side, and Clip Studio Paint does a fantastic job of uh, working on a touch screen. So it's optimized uh, for simultaneous pen and touch. Uh, you can pan around and uh, let's select a darker pencil here and pick a different color. And again, really, I'm just showing off the program just a little bit here of the program. Uh, if you haven't used Clip Studio Paint, it is one of the absolute best programs available. Uh, for um, digital artists. It is a wonderful program, a lot of capabilities, and it has all of the requisite uh, features that you would expect. It can do animation, uh, great line art, and uh, it's a fantastic program. All right, so that's number one, Clip Studio Paint. Number two, is our only 3D program in this mix. And it's possible that Blender may be supported in a way that I am have not been able to find yet, but this is Sculpt GL. It's a free program and it's actually quite good. Um, it's very responsive. And uh, what it does, uh, let's see here, uh, negative. Oops. Okay, so we're gonna add and subtract. This also supports uh, simultaneous pen and touch, which is basically it's a new, newer standard from Microsoft. You can see you can add, we'll switch to a couple different, oh, this is our spinning. Let's smooth it, mask. Do some uh, work increase. But I, I love being able to actually just navigate with touch. Um, ZBrush does not support this, and Blender does not support. Just, it's so nice and intuitive to be able to go in and just very easily move around. So I, I really appreciate that. Uh, you can paint. Um, there is some problems with this program. Uh, it does need... Uh, a few bug fixes like this does not seem to want to respond to um, pen, but it does with touch. And it does perfectly with a mouse. So I've reached out to the developer to see if, if there is something that can be done uh, for that. And we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, very fast and really fun to use great to play around with. Alright, so that's number two, Sculpt GL. My favorite program, favorite digital art program of all time. Uh, by the way, I'm using a Raphael uh, 520 stylus. Um, this is a brand new stylus. It's a high quality stylus and it is um, $44 on Amazon. And uh, I ordered some of these from the manufacturer, so I will be selling them shortly. Uh, under my own Shopify store. But they're a fantastic stylus, supports tilt, um, 
magnetically attaches to the side uh, very nicely and uh, is uh, excellent for line quality uh, and pressure curves. All right, so Clip Studio Paint, I like it because it's just the fastest uh, and it has a lot of really great um, toggle features. So here, if I'm drawing with this tool, and then I just hold this down, it allows me to just very, very quickly go back and forth between a bunch of different things like erasing, drawing, blending, uh, blurring. Uh, but let's go ahead and switch all the way to this and make this bigger. But I, I love the way it handles color. Uh, very, very similar to Clip Studio Paint. So if you're familiar with that, that brush engine, you're gonna really be familiar with Psy and this, the keyboard shortcuts are, are uh, very similar as well. All right, so paint tool sigh. I'm doing exactly what I said I was not going to do. All right, so paint tool sigh, fantastic. Absolutely love it, works brilliantly on the Surface Pro X. The next one on our list and the only good uh, graphic design program that I could find is Adobe Illustrator. Um, Affinity Designer does not work on here. All right, so here, uh, and most of you guys understand how um, Adobe Illustrator works, so if you're looking for something, this is not going to be a surprise for you. And uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. I'm not super familiar with Illustrator. sense. All right, so Adobe Illustrator. The next program in our list is ArtRage 6. And uh, all of these I will put um, in the description. You can see Tilt here on the lines, the pencil. Oh, so nice. So nice. All right. So here you can see the um, Oh, this is tools here, so let's go ahead and pick paint. I love how smooth and fast and realistic uh, this feels. So using a palette knife, and we'll switch to pencil, and eraser, and ink, and back to the paintbrush, because that's my favorite. And let's choose a different color. We'll add some nice colors. So this this right here is why I love ArtRage 6, or ArtRage in general. It just does such a beautiful job of blending colors, beautiful colors. It's just gorgeous. All right, ArtRage 6. And for all of those who are wondering, Photoshop does run, and it does run. Uh, this is Photoshop CC 2018, and it does work. It does not work well, in my opinion. Uh, it's a little more than a little laggy if you're using anything besides default brushes. But let's go ahead and show the default brushes. Um, this is just a round brush. Um, absolutely nothing added to it. So no softness, just a round brush, and you can see it runs uh, fast enough, that's fine. Uh, you cannot use pinch to zoom. Uh, you cannot use um, the color picker. I don't think the HUD color picker works on this one either. Uh, let's switch to a mixer brush and try color picking again. And let's just go back to a regular brush here and try and pick a color. Okay, and the color picker also does not have the 
uh, color picking UI on here. Uh, there's a conflict with the GPU. So keep that in mind. A handful of problems with Photoshop. I don't recommend it. I would not buy this machine if you were looking at using Photoshop. It works. It has some problems. All right, you guys, so that's Photoshop. All right, number seven is Coral Draw Graphics Suite 2019. I um, might have a video of this somewhere <laughs> while I still have the trial. Uh, but if I don't, Coral Draw, uh, for those of you who are familiar with Coral Draw, uh, the Suite 2019 and I assume 2020 um, should work. All right, so here's the UI for Coral Draw. And um, again, if you know how to use it, then uh, you're, you're set. It should work. <laughs> okay. All right, that's it. Coral Draw. All right, and here is number seven. Uh, I'm going to be way off on these numbers. Okay, so let's just put down some color. It's not very colorful. All right. And let's blend it. Uh, this does a really good job of blending colors. I'm not really a fan of uh, a lot of this as a free program, so that's that's great. But there's a number of things that I just am not, uh, that I don't like about how this works on the Surface Pro X. Um, it does pinch in and out, and you can pan around. It's a little glitchy. It does not support rotation on the Surface Pro X. All right, so let's see here. And some of the other things that I'm used to having work, I just don't see. Let's go ahead and bring this down and resize the brush. And blur it. All right, so this is a sketchbook. And uh, I will put the link to this uh, version. Uh, this is version 8.5.1 from 2017, not the newest one. I'm adding uh, OneNote in here because uh, OneNote is actually excellent at a, a couple of different things and the pencil tool is phenomenal. Uh, so you really probably want to, if you're drawing, you probably want to have this in um, the standard um, non-dark mode <laughs> and then here and draw. Now I've set this up and I have a video about how to do this, but I've set this up in a way that makes this look a lot more beautiful and functional. And our new preset here can now click locations. So this can click uh, over here. Uh, but this is the wrong one. So I need to actually load the correct one. And this one has the colors in the right order. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, white, gray, black. And this is black. Believe it or not, that's black. But when the background is white, it automatically changes that to a different color. It's kind of interesting. Um, I get the reason for it, but I'm not entirely, entirely a fan of that. All right, so here... can see it does a really nice job of soft gradients Here we can do ink to shape. And I, I think that there's there's a lot of things that you can do um, with OneNote in a drawing sketching type of way that, that really make it uh, viable for a lot of people. And it's, it's such a great note taking app. And it works across all the different platforms. 
So you can take a note from uh, your phone and put it on your computer. Uh, we're doing shapes now, aren't we? Let's turn that off. All right, so anyway, this is a great program for a lot of different things I really like. And, and for sketching, actually, it's still pretty good. The next one in our list is Sketchable. And uh, Sketchable is probably the fastest of all the programs, although there's uh, other ones that have zero lag. This one just feels just lightning fast. And <laughs> that would probably made everyone motion sick. All right, there's a couple things that I really like about Sketchable. And uh, I'm not saying tilt here, but you can have certain things set up to touch. And you can do this in other programs too. Um, but I like the way they have this set up. This is very nostalgic feeling to me. Uh, I just remember as a kid drawing a lot of eyeballs. And you would want to shade it. And you would shade it by smudging. And actually the size of this is a little bit too big. So let's decrease the size. And let's see. That's what I want. All right, so uh, let's go back to writing with a pencil. Let's use, I think, a mechanical pencil. And we're going to smooth, blend, smudge this. And I like that. I, that's just, to me, that's a fantastic experience. And so if you haven't tried, if you haven't used uh, Sketchable before, um, it's a really great program. And we have an artist pad for this as well. I just haven't loaded it. How fun is that? All right, so you guys get the idea. <laughs> Uh, this is uh, sketchable and again very fast program and works great on the surface pro x number nine or ten or eight um, right, this is medibang paint pro it's a 32-bit version and uh, works quite well go through a couple of the different tools here uh, most of these are set by the way at 3000 by 3000 at uh, 300 dpi. And you can see here it works pretty well. It's a little jumpy on uh, navigation. Uh, but the actual pen strokes are, are decent. Blurring, smudging, uh, relatively responsive. Uh, UI is small, but I believe that there's actually a couple ways to adjust that inside the program. All right, so that is uh, Medibang Paint Pro. And number 10 is Krita. And Krita is in the Windows Store. Uh, you can get it also from their website. Um, they do a really good job. There's a couple different things that I really like about Krita. Uh, all right, let's quickly configure this. And uh, let's go Canvas Input, Krita Default to Tablet Pro. And Keyboard Shortcuts, Default to Tablet Pro. I'll click OK. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. You 
you can see this is kind of slow. So definitely not my top choice here. Although I do love the um, pop-up palette. I think that's uh, really cool. Uh, and I wish that there was a lot more programs that had that uh, in there. Some of these, by the way, if you're using the artist pad, you have to tap and then use the tool. If you hold it down, um, I'm glad it's working, but in certain programs, uh, if you hold it down, uh, it will require you to lift your finger up first. And some of these are also set to toggle. All right, so there we go. I forget that uh, Krita supports simultaneous pen and touch. makes it really nice to use. All right, here's our brush settings, uh, lasso tool, and let's see, I need to update this for sure. All right, so um, Krita, great program, free program, uh, or 10 bucks in the Windows Store. And it looks like actually the emulation has uh, caught up and is doing a, a good job of scaling up and down. Uh, rotation does not seem to work. Okay, I will need to update this. All right, so Krita, number 10, Krita. All right, and our last one in the list is number 13. Yes, that was a big jump and I did a horrible job counting and I may have missed a program. <laughs> All right, this is Rebel, uh, Rebel 3. All right, so let's, let's see, I don't have anything selected. All right, so we're gonna choose a paintbrush, and I think this is the best watercolor, uh, digital watercolor app on the market. Uh, by the way, Fresco should eventually be compatible, but it is not currently. All right, so we're gonna use uh, their physics engine and I don't know if you can see this or not, but the paint is actually moving around here on the screen. All right, so let's add a little bit more water right here and break that and then blow this down. Let's add a little more water. Let's use a different color. It looks like I have to set up the shortcuts in here as well. We'll put a little blue in here, and then we're gonna dry some of this so it doesn't keep running. Let's say we like that. We want that to be dry as well. And you can see it's, it's got some really cool, really, really cool features. And uh, let's see, Maybe this one is smudge, soft smudge, um, blur, no, wet, dry. Ah, yes, this is the uh, smudge, the soft smudge. Okay, so uh, Rebel 3, amazing program. Absolutely love it. Uh, it does not run. Uh, at least I cannot get it to run at, on a, a high resolution canvas. So this will work really well for a smaller size canvas. Um, this one's set at 1500 by 1572 DPI. And um, it's possible it can run larger sizes than this, but I, I was having trouble with this. Um, getting this to open a 3000 by 3000 pixel canvas. So keep that in mind. Test the demo out on your machine first. Uh, this does support tilt as well as um, the gyroscope. So if you're painting and you tip the device over, it will actually push the paint uh, with gravity. 
which is super cool. All right, you guys, uh, that's it for this video. That is, uh, I believe is 13 different programs. Uh, let's look real quickly down here. Uh, Rebel 3, Medibang Paint, uh, Scope GL, Corel Draw, Paint Tool Sci, um, Sketchbook, Art Rage, Adobe Illustrator, OneNote, Photoshop, Concepts, Sketchable, Clip Studio Paint, and Crito. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Uh, anyway, uh, 13 or 14 programs, drawing programs, um, design and illustration programs for Surface Pro X. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have questions, please ask them in the comment section. Uh, and keep in mind, Adobe Fresco should be on its way. Uh, until then, and even after then, I think Rebel 3 is a great option. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.